We promise people will notice the positive difference in your appearance and energy when you do this facial massage routine once a day. Hi everyone, this is Sun Young from Lemore Beauty. Look and feel your best with this ultimate gua sha facial massage routine. You can easily follow along at home. Without much ado, let's begin. First, we recommend prepping your clean skin with some sort of lubrication to provide a nice smooth glide for your gua sha tool. You can use your favorite facial oil, serum, moisturizer you can use around your eye area without irritation. You can also wet your gua sha tool with water as needed along the way to provide a nice smooth glide as well. For me, I already prepped my clean skin with organic jojoba oil mixed with water and gently pressed into my face, neck, and chest. With a clean gua sha tool, we will begin from our chest area with two swipes per section, work our way up, and then finish off with the final lymphatic drainage. Placing your gua sha tool parallel to 45 degree angle from the center of your chest here, we're addressing the wrinkles and lines and the sagging that also occurs on our chest area. So placing your tool like so, we're going to sweep up and sweep it down through our shoulder here. One more, sweep up and then down. It feels so amazing for our shoulders here. We'll do the other side from the center, sweep up and down. One more here, sweep up and down. Now we will work right below our collarbone area like this. Sweep up and down like so. One more here. Sweep up and down. The other side. Sweep up and down. Sweep up and down. Now we will work our neck area here, addressing the fine lines, wrinkles, and sagging on our neck area as well. So placing your gua sha tool like so, we're going to sweep up and wiggle at the edge here, releasing any tension you're carrying. One more, like so. Release, and we'll do the side next to it here. Placing your gua sha tool like so, we're going to sweep up, wiggle at the edge, and we're gonna move to the side here and gently sweep it down like so, and move back and forth here on your traps releasing any tension, stress, and pain you're carrying here. One more. Sweep up and then down like so. A little bit of redness is common here and it'll go away in a few minutes. Release. We'll do the other side now. Placing your gua sha tool like so. We're going to sweep up. Wiggle at the edge here. Release. One more. Sweep up, release. We'll do the side next to it here. Sweep up and release it down the side here through your traps. One more. Sweep up, wiggle if you would like, and release it all down your traps. Release. Just roll your shoulders back and down a few times here, just bringing awareness to your posture, relaxing your jaw. We're going to do under our chin here. This is perfect for preventing and reducing double chin. So placing your gua sha tool, we're gonna use this side here. We're going to go like this, addressing the under chin here. And at the edge right here, we're going to apply acupressure, like so. Release. We'll do one more here, like this. And wiggle at the edge, right here. Feels so amazing. We'll do the other side. So same thing here, using the surface of your gua sha tool, like this. And wiggle at the edge here. One more, like so and wiggle at the edge. Release. Now we'll do our actual jawline here, really helping to sculpt, contour, and give it that nice chiseled jawline look. So this time we'll use this edge here, 
Place it like so from the edge of your chin and we're going to sweep it up and wiggle at the edge here. One more, like this. Through your jawline and wiggle at the edge. We'll do the other side now. Same thing here. Placing your gua sha tool like this, we're going to sweep up and wiggle at the edge. One more here, like this. Sweep up, wiggle at the edge. Now we're going to actually work on our masseter muscles here, just really helping to release any tension, stress you're carrying here. If you don't release this muscle, it actually, you can see it being a little bit bunched up. So when I see people and I see this area being very developed, I know that they are carrying a lot of tension here. So we're going to use the gua sha tool like this, and we're going to go up and down like so, really helping to release the tension here. This area gets warped up easily, especially if you've been going through a lot of stress. So just doing like so, and we're going to go like this, wiggle at the edge. One more here, like so, like this, wiggle at the edge and release. We'll do the other side here, same thing, placing your gua sha tool like this, going back and forth, just helping to release all that adhesion here, like this, wiggle at the edge, one more, like so, wiggle at the edge, release. Now from the center of our lip here, just helping to address the smile lines, the marionette lines, and also the lower cheek sagging here. Placing your toe like this, sweep up and out, wiggle at the edge here. One more, like so, wiggle at the edge. We carry a lot of tension along the edges of our face, so this helps release that. We'll do the other side from the center here, like so, sweep up, wiggle at the edge. One more here, like this, wiggle at the edge, release. Now we're going to go diagonally here, helping to also address the smile lines and also the cheeks here, giving that nice cheek lift, like so. Sweep diagonally and wiggle at the edge like so. One more here, sweeping up and wiggle at the edge like so. Now we'll do the other side like this. Sweep it up diagonally and wiggle at the edge here. One more, like so. Wiggle at the edge. Release. Now from the side of our nose here, we're going to do our upper cheek here. So placing your toe like this, and we're going to sweep up and wiggle at the edge. One more here, like this. Sweep up, wiggle at the edge. Now we'll do the other side, like this, from the side of your nose. Sweep up and wiggle at the edge here. <sighs> Making sure to breathe here. One more, like this. Wiggle at the edge. Release. Now we'll do our eye area here. For your eye area, you want to apply really gentle light pressure here. So you can use your hand like this for leverage and placing your gua sha tool like so, we're going to sweep up and wiggle at the edge here, applying acupressure on your temples here, your temporalis muscle. One more. Like so, release. We'll do the other side, your under eye here, like so. Wiggle at the edge. One more, like so, sweeping up and wiggle at the edge here. Release. Now we'll do our upper eye area here. You can place your hand for leverage if you would like. And placing your tool like so, we're going to sweep up and wiggle at the edge. 
You can apply acupressure a little bit higher above than the previous point here. One more, like this, sweep up and wiggle at the edge here, like so, this area. Release, we'll do the other side, like so, sweeping up and out, wiggle at the edge. This really helps depuff and awaken your eyes. And one more here, like so, wiggle at the edge. Release here. Now we're going to go up through the eyes here, addressing the sagging, the eyebrows, and also the forehead, like so. We're going to sweep up like this, wiggle at the edge, like so. One more here, like this, wiggle at the edge. And we're going to do the side here, like this, sweep up, wiggle at the edge, like so. One more, sweep up, wiggle at the edge of your hairline. We'll do the other side, like this, sweep up, wiggle at the edge here. One more, sweep up, and wiggle, releasing tension. We'll do the side next to it, like so. Sweep up to your hairline and relaxing any tension. And one more here, like so. Really lifting and release. Now we will work from the upper lip here, like so, addressing the sagging that occurs throughout this area here. Like this, placing your toe like so. And we're gonna go up and then through the hairline here, wiggle at the edge like so. One more here, like this. You can hold your lip here for leverage and through your nose, through your eyebrow area where you get the furrows and come up through your forehead to your hairline and wiggle at the edge. Release. Now we're going to use this area here right between your eyes like this, between your eyebrows. And this really helps relax and center your nervous system. Breathing here and just letting go. And we're going to come up like so, like this. And applying acupressure like so on the edge. One more here, like this. And come up like so. Like this. And release. We'll do the other side here. So now switching like this and placing your gua sha tool like so, applying nice acupressure, and come up, like so. One more here, like this, and come up. Release. Now we'll do our eyebrows here, above our eyebrows. For this, we can do three swipes. One, two, three, other side. One, two, three. Now we're gonna come down for the final lymphatic drainage here, like so. One, two, three. Other side. One, two, three. And through the neck here, like so. One, two, one, two. The other side, like so. One, two, one, two. With your gua sha tool, you can wash it with warm water and soap for your next gua sha facial massage. We're going to finish off by gently tapping our skin and this really helps boost the blood circulation, the brightness, the radiance of your skin and also with detoxing as well. Gently tap your face all over here, your neck, your shoulder, your chest. You can roll your shoulders back and down a few times here releasing any remaining tension you're carrying throughout your body. <sighs> well, not only will others notice, but you will also notice the positive difference. Your skin will look brighter, more radiant. Your face, neck, and chest will look more toned, lifted, sculpted, and less puffy. When I used to give gua sha facial massage to our clients in person, I would do just one side of their face so their husband, boyfriend, or friend can tell which side of the face looks different. 
and 100% of the time, they can tell right away which side looks better. It just looks more healthier, brighter, more lifted. So if you want to see results, we recommend doing this routine once a day. The more consistent you are, the longer lasting the results. And because I know you will ask, you can find all of my current favorite products in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, found this video helpful, and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can check out our membership to get unlimited access to our members-only videos ad-free. Thank you so much for watching and following along. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be peaceful. Stay hydrated. Bye-bye.